Upon completing the three Blue Lodge degrees of pure and ancient masonry, the Freemason has embarked on a journey of mystery and discovery. The moral, symbolic and spiritual lessons learned and the fellowship enjoyed offer both sufficient social reward and intellectual challenge to engage the Freemason throughout his life. For many, however, there remain unanswered questions. Upon the completion of the third degree, a Freemason may feel that he stands on the brink of yet greater mysteries. Where can he discover the lost word? How can he progress his understanding and spiritual growth within the craft? Where can he continue his education and pathway towards the light? For those who seek to progress their Masonic journey, there is much, much more. Royal Arch Freemasonry is an important part of the overall fraternity of masonry. It is a sovereign body, but at the same time an integral part of the fabric of what the general public see as Freemasonry. Its history is synonymous with the rise of Freemasonry in England during the 16th and 17th centuries, which rose from the practices of the operative masons when building the great monuments throughout England and Europe. Royal Arch Freemasonry has delighted and challenged the great names in masonry for generations. If we pass on to the Holy Royal Arch, we receive a wonderful accession of knowledge and find everything made perfect, for this is the knee plus ultra of masonry and can never be exceeded by any human institution. Our Royal Arch degree is founded upon a story as old as the hills, but as new as every day on which the sun rises. It is the story of love and veneration for the land of our boyhood and the home of our youth. In the Royal Arch degree, I beheld myself exalted to the top. An extensive scene opened to my view of the glory and goodness of the most excellent High Priest of our salvation. I dug deep for hidden treasures found them, and regained the omnific word. The Mason who would prepare himself for this exalted stage of Masonry should advance in the naked paths of truth, be divested of every degree of arrogance, and approach with steps of innocence, humility, and virtue to challenge the ensigns of an order whose institutions arise on the most solemn and sacred principles of religion. The degree is indescribably more august, sublime, and important than all which precede it, and it is the summit and perfection of ancient masonry. It impresses on our minds a belief of the being and existence of a supreme deity without beginning of days or end of years, and reminds us of the reverence due to his holy name. The traditional Masonic history which takes as its allegorical basis the biblical accounts of the building of King Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem, is extended in the Royal Arch by using the biblical history of the destruction of the Temple and the enslavement of the Hebrews. Their release and the rebuilding of the Second Temple over the subsequent centuries is the Royal Arch basis for colourful parables to convey its principles and the tenets to those Masons who joined its ranks. The Royal Arch is open to any brother in good standing who has been a Master Mason for more than 12 months and, as in craft masonry, the Royal Arch is open to men of all faiths. The Supreme Grand Royal Arch Chapter of Queensland controls within its jurisdiction the degrees of Mark Master Mason, Excellent Master Mason, The Royal Arch, the Royal Ark Mariner, the Red Cross of Babylon, the Knight of the East and West, Most Excellent Master, Royal Master, Select Master, 
and super excellent master. These degrees follow the chronological events from the building of the first temple to the rebuilding of the second, and, like craft masonry, they use imagery and symbolism from these events to communicate elements of the system of morality, which is universal Freemasonry. The degrees of Royal Arch Masonry encompass an historical tradition extending over thousands of years. Each degree imparts historical, symbolic, and moral lessons, and cumulatively create the integrated system that is the Royal Arch. Many eminent scholars have seen the timeline of the Royal Arch extending back to the very beginning of time itself. According to the chronology of biblical history compiled by Bishop James Usher in 1650, the creation of the world took place on the 23rd of October, 4004 BC, and thus our story begins. The story of the Royal Ark Mariner degree contains events before, during and after the Biblical Flood. According to tradition, this event took place in 2349 BC. The apron and emblems of this degree are easily recognisable by the Ark and Rainbow motif, although the degree itself claims the original apron to have been made of unfinished lambskin. The historic prerequisite to be made a Royal Ark Mason is to be a Mark Master Mason. However, the degree has no connection symbolically or otherwise to the Mark degree. The principal officers of a lodge of Royal Ark Mariners represent Noah and two of his sons, Shem and Japheth, and the lodge room is made to represent the Ark of Safety. Our story continues in 974 BC with the commencement of the construction of the Temple of Solomon. Taking seven years to complete, the activities during this period provide the background to the entered apprentice, fellow craft and master mason degrees of craft freemasonry. The Mark Master degree continues this story and builds upon the lessons of the former degrees. While there is evidence that a form of Mark degree was in existence in Scotland as early as 1599, according to the earliest known rec English records, Mark Masonry was introduced in a speculative body at Portsmouth on the 1st of September 1769. One of the cryptic series of degrees, the Select Master degree, also concerns the period of the construction of the Temple of Solomon and focuses on certain architectural features of the building process. As is well known in Masonic lore, the completion of the Temple of Solomon was coincident with the tragic death of the Master Builder. Another of the cryptic series of degrees, the degree of Royal Master, focuses on this terrible period and examines both the reaction to the death and its moral and symbolic importance to the craft. It is well known to all members of the craft that the untimely death of the Master Builder led to the loss of the secret word. It is these terrible events of 968 BC that form the core of the Master Mason's degree. Also, in 968 BC, the first Temple of Jerusalem was dedicated by King Solomon. This magnificent event is commemorated in the Most Excellent Master degree. Our story now moves forward some 390 years to the destruction of the first temple by the Neo-Babylonian King, King Nebuchadnezzar II. This terrible event brought to an end the first temple period and resulted in the Babylonian captivity. The degree of super excellent master, one of the cryptic series of degrees, treats this event and its implications for the craft. The Red Cross of Babylon degrees cover the period following the decree of Cyrus 
freeing the Israelites from bondage. Cyrus restored to them the holy vessels belonging to King Solomon's temple and permitted the Jews to return to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple over the following decades. Chronologically, the last of the degrees is that of Royal Arch Mason. The value of Royal Arch Masonry will be justly appreciated by all who are exalted to that most sublime degree, particularly by those who are seeking to complete their Masonic education. It reveals the full light of ancient craft masonry, presents it as a complete system in accordance with the original plan, and confers at last the rights and light of a Master Mason in fact, as well as in name. It truly leads to a fuller understanding of the purposes and spirit of Freemasonry. For standing upon this towering summit, we are able for the first time to perceive the completeness of the ancient craft and to understand how all its forms and ceremonies, from the entered apprentice to the master mason's degree, are the preparation for the final goal, the most sublime degree of a royal arch mason. In the Royal Arch sequence of degrees, a qualified fellow craft is permitted to select a personal mark by which his work is recognised. Such marks have since been found in the ruins of ancient buildings, and it is in this series of degrees that a Master Mason receives his mark and entitles him to payment and recognition for his works. These degrees depict certain historical incidents which occurred during the period of 20 years that begins with the release of the Jews from their captivity in Babylon and ends with the completion of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. This degree is intimately associated with the Holy Royal Arch. In early records of the craft, mention is made of Noah and the Flood. In fact, we still retain some maritime phrases within the Lodge. Noah is also credited with finding the two great pillars made by Enoch, one of brass the other of brick, on which was inscribed a record of the arts and sciences as known at that time. This series of degrees includes those of Select Master, Royal Master, Most Excellent Master, and Super Excellent Master. These degrees cover a vast period in the Masonic story, commencing with the events surrounding the third degree through to the final destruction of the temple by Nebuchadnezzar. The Royal Arch is the culmination of pure, ancient masonry. The Craft Lodge gives its brethren a set of eminently practical rules to live by and teachings in how to be of service to both God, howsoever they perceive that to be, and the community. Man, however, is not simply a practical being, but has an essential spiritual aspect to his nature. The Royal Arch offers the candidate a deeper understanding of that journey, without trespassing on the bounds of religion. A companion is led to contemplate the nature of God and his personal relationship with him. Thus, the Royal Arch leads the candidate from the practical to the spiritual and completes pure ancient masonry. You should be serious and enthusiastic about Freemasonry and wish to improve your Masonic knowledge. You should be interested in completing your degrees in pure and ancient Freemasonry and wish to find that which was lost. You should realise that there is no shortcut to Masonic knowledge. You must be a Master Mason in good standing for at least 12 months. Becoming a member of the Royal Arch you have the opportunity of a rewarding and fascinating journey that will enrich your understanding of Masonic history and traditions and be personally enlightening and fulfilling. To join the Royal Arch, you must be a Master Mason of at least 12 months standing, in the absence of special circumstances, in a lodge under the United Grand Lodge of Queensland or a lodge under the jurisdiction of a recognised Grand Lodge. And, like craft masonry, Royal Arch is open to men of all faiths. To join, you will need a proposer and seconder, one of whom is a member of the chapter you seek to join. 
You can talk to the members of your lodge who are Royal Arch Masons, and they will be very happy to assist you in joining the Royal Arch. Alternatively, contact us today to learn more.